Hey guys, it's Paul Gorman, the Golf Vacation Pro, taking you on the best golf travel experiences of your life. Today I've got Lauren here. She's going from softball to golf. I'm going to take her in there and show her what I've done. What I did is gave her a little crossing guard and a little selfie. You'll see in the video. Please like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you when you're done on the other side. And what's really cool is there is that she described it first run through, called it the hub, the hub of the wheel. Yeah. You know, because you can visualize where a wagon wheel would be and the yeah. spokes going bang, bang, bang. And I really like this year I added the, the club head in the rim. And you're just firing it down the rim like yeah. it's on a roller coaster that can't get out of the track. Yeah. <laughs> and then around it goes. Yeah. Cool. What else are we going to do? We're going to do some crunches? <laughs> I don't know. I'm out of breath from those three balls I hit. Now, uh, this was another thing to actually talk about that if you want to get more length in your golf swing and get stronger with it yeah. at home, if you did 10 or 15 ballistic swings, fast and hard as you could go, yeah. no outcome, a minute and a half apart, mm -hmm. that's better than doing 50 just back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. okay? Is when you go as hard as you can, there should be every fiber of your body trying to smash the thing, right? Yeah. So that'd be kind of fun for you to do to see if you've already got your numbers at McGinnis probably. Yeah. Speed numbers maybe. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of check them if you, if you go home and like do uh, 10 or 15 in the evenings when you, or 10 in the morning and then do yeah. 10 in the afternoon or something. But that's how you get speed, one of the ways. Walking out and playing these golf tournaments with the girls hitting wedges in all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that we got to get deadly with the wedge. <laughs> when we go high five, it's going to be like this. Yo. <laughs> Gabe. It's the best way to hit it. You don't want to hit it like that. You never want to hit it like that. Yeah. You always want to. <clears throat> Heavy, high. Yeah. Follow it through. There, girl. There, straight down the middle. <laughs> Trees. Trees over the fence. <laughs> that was my Bryson. You don't need it anymore Thank you. <laughs> like the speed though. Yeah. Is it straight or two though? I mean, I know high, right? Yeah. Your ball was teed up a bit high there. I'm gonna swing that club head down the down the rail. All right. See, it's just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit tucked in. You see that right elbow? Yeah. And that's what's delaying the release of that club head. It's starting to come out. Yeah. But you can see you're a little bit, a little bit ahead of the, mm -hmm. uh, of the, club the handle. Yeah. Face is a little bit open. Right. You got to apply some sort of torque twist this way in there. Twist. Okay. You like that? Torque twist? <laughs> We're gonna put in a little torque twist in this one. Let's put a little TT in there. Double T, T squared. Okay, good. <laughs> What's that? That felt right. Like. Yeah, so our goal is to create this thing where you feel like you can like I say, the two spectrums of the game, driving, putting, chipping, or driving wedges, those two, that's, gonna, that's where you're going to be playing the game in high school. Because you're going to bomb it. You're not going to have five irons in. You're going to have pitching wedges, sand wedges, nine irons maybe. Right? So I want to get you just owning this for sure in these wedges and get your short game, uh, really high caliber short game. So you can really pitch the ball, chip it close. Read greens. Make your feet set more. 
yeah. So I'm just going to take it straight back. <clears throat> and in my downswing to the ball, you're going to call out left, right, or straight. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's your choice. But I'm just going to do a putting stroke. Call it out. To the right, I did a lot of this, and the, and the left, I just I just rolled this thing. Let's do do that with you. A fun little deal, party tricks. Okay, like a putting stroke. Yeah, so I'll call it out. Yep, right. Okay, choke down a little maybe, and yeah, shorter backswing, straight. Perfect. Left. There you go. See the release there? Yeah. Rough got it a little bit, but. So your brain will just do stuff because it only has, you don't have time to do anything. So what's going to happen is your brain is going to go wrists, arms, thumbs, something, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a cool. We'll do two more. Cool exercise just to get hand eye quick. Left. Yeah, so you take it straight back like a putter, mm -hmm. and then then do it. Right. Yeah. Straight back, left. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she just ripped it left. Yeah. Good for you. You know, I should have done that drill earlier, but I know it's one. I know it's one that really works. And it's so kind of rudimentary, you just, yeah. Oh, great. Yep, needed that earlier here, right? Yeah. So get it like that. Turn everything a little more to the right on the clutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little place I visited about 15 minutes ago called Hammertown. Okay? That was sweet. You mushed that thing. Lauren? Yeah. So what do you what do you think in there? That grip is a big component, right? Yeah, for sure. And then when you did the putting stroke, you had about that far to get to the ball to get it done, right? So it's like, oh, you gotta really Okay, two more. Going left all day. Look at this power alley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One more fun one since next time you're here, Gabe won't be here. Yeah. Um, this one I like a lot. You know, did I tell you the one with the, the stucco wall? Yeah. I did. I think so, yeah. You're, okay. And I'm whacking it into the wall. And then what? Leave it in. Leave it in. Walk off. Walk away. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I love it. Let me have it. Yeah, it's like the toe of the club. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, I'm slicing it today. So tired of slicing it. So she just in her house, just like throws the toe into the wall and just walks off. And it's just sitting there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw the toe in the stucco wall. Walk away. Hit the ball now. We got the, we got the wall going now. Mm-hmm. Mind is strong. Ryan, mind is strong, man. You were just like this coming through there. Really, really getting it going. Mm-hmm. Where do you like to see um, ball position for Lauren Cornier? Well, we're looking at this, the width of the stance, right? About a little bit wider than the shoulders, okay? And so for you, we want to have the golf ball on the shoulder edge mm -hmm. or at your stance, probably middle of the left shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. More forward is better than back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because the, yeah, because, like, go ahead and just stand there. And the arc 
is like this, right? Mm -hmm. And the middle of the arc's between your feet, right? Middle of the arc's here. Mm -hmm. So if I put the ball up here, I'm actually putting it left. If you swing according to the arc, mm -hmm. that ball's not gonna start that way. So when you put a ball up forward, it's actually in front of the middle and in the left side of the swing, hedging your bet to go this way. Good, yeah, yeah right? So just teaching you a few things. You're already doing it, but now you know why or how it helps too. And then your club face should feel like a big old horse tongue depressor on this thing. And the thing would be this way when you're hitting and working that way. So sometimes I'll just like put a shaft here like this. So by the, yeah, so by the time you finish a practice swing, you can look there, right? And have it lined up that way. Mm -hmm. So do, do it above the ball, back swing, and stop it over the stick, yeah. And even if it goes more than what the stick shows, we're good, right? Yeah. Okay, because that, that means it would have been here. Mm -hmm. So you want to go and keep stopping past the ball like this. You can see the handle's back there. Mm -hmm. Face is left. There you go. Do a little soft tapper with that one out there. 100 yard shot. Right. You feel the end of the club a little more now? You ready for this? We're just gonna do one trick shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Put your hands on there super to the right. Yeah, so the right hand will be super under that way. This is under under the club, this one over. Yeah. So this is palm to your body, mm -hmm. and then fingernails to the ball to start. Yeah. Okay. If you keep that on there and make this swing, there's Ten dollars that say it's not going that way. Okay. Bingo. Yeah. So the grip's a big one for you, and I yeah. haven't haven't tried to change a bunch of it, but you would do well to have your hand probably turned on the left one. Turned a more yeah, see about here. three knuckles or a lot of that flap looking that way, mm -hmm. a lot of fingernails looking this way. Yeah, there you go. Better compression. Better compression. Ball forward by the left foot. Release it around. <laughs> yeah, you can get to the ball no problem up there, huh? Yeah. I wonder if that's your baseball stuff. It's easy for you to do that. So we're gonna put it way forward, strong grip, and just have you put it in the roller coaster, let it fly. Yeah. Cool. And put that ball way up past your left foot. Camera crew, is it up forward? Oh, it's way. <laughs> it's way forward, folks. Come on, let's see this thing. Yes. Pretty interesting, right? Right? Because yeah. we're surfing around a little bit, trying to figure out from your softball, because you're in this way, yeah. with the back, which you film from the front and look. She's tucked in like Dustin Johnson, but the face is a little open. And so we move the ball up here, and now just take it all and poof. So we do this for a while, and if the ball starts to straighten out and then starts to go a little left, then we'll probably start moving the ball back. Yeah. But I think we're gonna put it way forward in the arc with that grip and encourage you to throw it down the spoke line. All right, here you go. Okay. Put the handle back a little bit this way. Yeah. Right to left. A little draw there. Did you see that one? No, I didn't. <laughs> and it's curving a little right to left, right on the red post. You know, that's just such a great, fun lesson right there because 
you are hardwired with your wonderful softball stuff, which is totally usable for golf. Well, I had to find some places to put things and encourage you to do certain things. And so that's for now. For one month from now, it could be completely different because you might just be releasing the heck out of it and hitting hooks down the third baseline. Yeah. So, well, um, thank you for today. That was a uh, well done. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Great. moving right along. So we got the wedge swing kind of going, and then we got the driver cooking. Yeah. Um, do you have questions at all? Um, let's see. Oh, oh, one thing about my grip. Sorry, I personally like the grip that you kind of chose. Yeah. My uncle, though, uh, he encouraged me to kind of have like the meat of my hand kind of more on top up here, something like that. Okay, instead of... Instead of, like, how kind of more flat to the palm and having my thumb more towards this way. Okay, it looks like it would... Do yeah. it... Uh, uncle again? Yeah, Okay, so... Adam, so that is over the top of the club more the way your uncle mm -hmm. likes it? Yeah, kind of having, like, a nice, like, neat part of the... Here, having it more in my fingertips. Opposed to having it... Having it more here. I see. Yeah. Well, I want, I don't mind where it is in the hand, but I want the touch, want the, touch point over here more. Over, okay. Yeah. So more over the spot. Like, yeah. So if I had like a, a, a white dot I could put here, mm -hmm. I would want that part to wrap itself up over and touch that white dot. Okay. Whether it's in the palm a little or in your fingers. Yeah. Okay. Because it's really, it's really, this is what's going to square the face up. Mm -hmm. It's not whether it's here or Kinda here. Rotation, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the touch point. Never said that to anybody before. It's kind of cool. White dot on top, touch point over there, right? Mm -hmm. That thumb will be over to be about two o'clock of 12 straight down, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one's kind of under. Yeah. Ball way over there. Yeah. Bombs. Bombs. Okay. Thank you so much. So great. It's been a fun, fun day. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. You can see the athleticism of Lauren. Get that softball pitch going, and now we're grooving it right into golf. So she's going to be a styling player. As a matter of fact, in the link below in the description box, just click on it. It'll take you to my website where I have three free videos for you. Enjoy those. If you have some questions, comments, send them out. I'll get back to you, and I'll see you when we're done.